Yo, what is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel today. I got Hand Trap Orcus for you guys featuring the Dragon Engine. I realize that engine is way too good not to play this format. Chaotic Ruler kind of just goes brr, so you really can't play without him. He gets you your light hand traps, your dark hand traps, he dumps your Orcus monsters. He's just way too good, and it's it just feels super free when you do it. Um... Uh, first shout out i'd like to give is to my sponsors red dragon make sure to check them out link in the description below if you need any sealed product at all use the moose ygo 10 to get 10 percent off your entire order the moose ygo 10 super epic get your product today anyways uh yeah let's let's get into this let's get into this so obviously i feel like for the dragon engine type builds, this is pretty standard. One bombard and then two wands. Uh, I wouldn't want to play more or less. I think this build is already 43 cards because I do play bricks, obviously. So I want to draw them the least amount possible. But yeah, overall, this uh, is pretty standard. Next, two tracer, one recharger. Uh, this effect does come up from time to time, which is really, uh, really fun. Summoning back your gear suit. So I'm back your ding if like you're in a really rough spot. Just being able to special summon a dark from grave is just super really just super really good, yeah. Super good. Uh, and then the black and white, obviously chaos space is legitimately broken. Uh I don't know man. That the card just does way too much. Uh for the last starter I play one dark refer. Uh this is a starter or an extender, depending on your hand. Obviously you have Gizmec, World One, Nightmare. A lot of big, uh, like high level dark monsters. You also have uh, Phantasme, which I'll show you later. Um, pitch, pitch again, go full Orcus combo. So, yeah, he's just very strong. Next, I play the one Gizmec. Uh, you still have Zerboros as a very good win con. Summoning this to banish eight more to get him 1600 more attack. That is insane. 1,600 more attack. And you got a 24 beater. That's insane. Uh, yeah, overall, very strong. Next, we got the hand traps. I play two Nibiru, two Phantasme, two Ghost Ogre, two Moonlit Chill, and then two Imperm. That is my hand trap lineup. I wanted to play as many... Uh, two of so i don't really brick on the same ones uh, i didn't want to play ash i like although it's like fairly generic it doesn't really help too much in a lot of ways um moonlit chill it's a weird one but it's mostly just for window when they summon off schism because schism against this deck is basically an ftk because you know when does a dark this whole deck is just dark so it's really hard to deal with the send and then the window uh, especially if they do it mid-turn, you can't really imperm, so you want to have that type of out. Uh, so yeah, that's strong. I mean, if they and just by the way, if they have meltdown, don't don't even think you're gonna be winning that game. Like you are screwed 100%. Meltdown is way too broken. I hate that card. Uh, Nib, I mean combo decks, combo decks. This is good against combo or. Um, or control, uh, depending on what it is, obviously. Uh, using this on, like, a early Zeus is really strong. That's why I also played this for Zeus. Uh, if they b wipe your board multiple times, you kind of just lose. But you can play through one board wipe. And if you're able to just ogre the Zeus, and they don't really have too much left, uh, it's just really easy to kill after that. And, yeah. There are many reasons to play a lot of hand traps, like DD Crow Meister, you know. Oh, they're dark, plus they have really good effects. Uh, really, just test out. I just wanted to show you guys, you can still have success with this deck with a lot of hand traps in it. Uh, I know it might seem like more bricky, but when you think about it, all of these, not these, but all of these are interruptions. So if you're able to just survive on interruptions and then go full combo, it's good enough. Uh, it should realistically win you games. Uh, if you're wondering where's Gamma, that is in the side, but I'll show you that after, as you guys probably saw in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I just felt like those were really good. Four two ofs. I can't play Gamma as a two of, and it would just take four slots. 
So, yeah. Overall, uh, I've been really liking this lineup. Next, we got the spells. Uh, the one Babel to return. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I go for return way more than I go for Babel Crescendo. Uh, getting your hand traps in hand, getting your follow-up is just super strong. Um, also, if you have stuff like Savage, you know... Like, Savage plus Hand Traps is usually just you're surviving, and then you can get, like, Babel next turn. If you already returned, you just get Babel. Uh, Crescendo, you will never really get, unless you already have Babel. Uh, I, I side this out so often, but obviously it's a very good card for uh, Game 3, if anything. But I usually win my Game 1s, because it's actually fairly easy to break boards with this deck. Because you're able to bait out a lot of negates or just interruptions in general. So it, it's realistically just how you play the deck. Uh, three quick launch with the one boot. Uh, standard, you want to see this card. You really don't want to see this card. But this card is a one card chaotic ruler without using your normal summon. So if they do uh, gamma, your chaotic, you can still just go normal gear su. And still go full combo. Super strong. You're only locked out of darks. Which Orcus already does. So yeah. Super, super strong. Next, the three spaces. Um, this is good to draw. This is good to mail off uh, Chaos Ruler. This card is broken. Yeah, that's really all I have to say about it. Uh, two Allure. This is a weird one. But... Uh, since I did cut a lot of darks, I didn't want to just always draw this because I usually draw, you know, my mourners, my imperms, my my ogres. So I didn't want to max out on these, but obviously it's still a very strong card, banishing your Orcus monsters uh, from hand to, you know, in case they in case they want a late Lancia. Uh, you still have something to get Babel with uh, with Galatea. And yeah, they'll usually do it on standby uh, to play around like something like talents. But if they don't, this is still very good. Next, we got the power one ofs, the one foolish, one monster born, and one call by the grave. Obviously, very strong cards. This plays around hand trap. This high key also plays around hand trap, and this also plays around hand trap. Uh, this also gives you access to summoning. Um, Let's go. The rocket a lot easier without uh, having the nuts. I mean, if you have reborn, you probably have the nuts. But yeah, and then the one crescendo for the other trap besides for imperms, and that is the forty-three card main deck. I think uh, I really need to recount, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, extra deck two Galtea, one long and two ding. Uh, for a while, I did cut this for the abyss, but I no longer play the rocket synchron. Uh, I did like it, but I felt like it just didn't come up as much, and I just, this card is, it just helps so much. Uh, you can bait out uh, Dragoon with this, because uh, obviously it sends without targeting. They negate, it's not destroyed, pop a ding on top, send Dragoon, and you've dealt with Dragoon. Next, the one Link Rebo. Uh... Uh, you just you kind of just need this for everything. Uh, one striker dragon, just gets your boots. You helps with your everything. Uh, Mascarena and barricade. I really enjoy uh, ending on these two. Uh, makes for very good follow up plus a, a, just a Zeroboros on its own. Uh, this you add back your boot at the end phase. Very strong. And then this Zeroboros summon ding back. Get rid of everything. OTK next turn. Super solid. Super super straightforward. Uh, one Phoenix. Uh, it's the only non-dark in my extra deck. But I feel like it is necessary for your turn 2. Uh, if you do go first. Um, you're not able to set up the best board. You just bait something with Phoenix. Then you have your full grave to just pop off. Uh, one Unicorn. This is your other option for. Um, what's it called? Mascarena. Uh, obviously super solid. You never mind pitching cards from your hand. We're playing Orcus. Uh, the one Boral Sword and one Zeroboros. That's all for the links. Uh, I don't play uh, Access Code. I don't feel like it's great because, you know, I'm 
literally not playing a scrap engine. Everything is dark besides for Phoenix. So at max, usually he would only be popping one, which isn't great overall. So I'd rather just go sword for game. And then for the two synchros, one chaotic ruler, one boral sword, uh, soup, boral sword, what the hell? Boral of Savage, both incredible cards. Uh, would not play this deck without them. Uh, so yeah. Next, we will go to the side. This is what I've been citing lately. I've been really liking it. Three gamma with the one driver. Uh, obviously, super solid card. A very high impact hand trap. Nothing much to say about it. Uh, next, I play two alpha. Uh, this is another out to window. Uh, he's also just really strong overall, in my opinion. Uh, special summon that doesn't activate a bounce, and you can special summon it again because that's not once per turn for some reason. Super strong. Uh, would fully recommend it if uh, you know you have the little extra funds for it. Uh, one Pancratops. Started this for the third alpha, and I felt like this was just uh, a bit better. It pops back row, which is obviously very strong. Summoning this against Shadal to pop the Schism is super, super good. So, yeah. Next, three Dark Ruler. Uh, this card is very good against, you know, Winda, Dragoon, uh, you know, just Dragon Link board. Like, overall, negating effects, good card. Uh, the one Harpy's Feather Duster. Obviously, all are just... I don't even have to explain this. This card's broken. Uh, the one reboot. You kill so easily after rebooting, so it's not even a challenge. And then three evenly matches. Uh, I would probably, if you can, play Lightning Storm. Uh, it would be a bit better, because you still have your battle phase. But, evenly match is definitely not bad. I did sell my Lightning Storms fairly cheap. Uh, a few months back, I didn't think I'd be playing very much, so I am playing evenly. If you do have them, play Lightning Storm. Uh, I wouldn't buy them right now, but if you have them, play them. So yeah, that is the deck profile. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I'm going to be testing this a lot more in the future. If you guys do want a um, test hand video, let me know. Uh, I'll see if I can get some duels with a couple buddies. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. Uh, I'm gonna try to get you know more more content overall through the week instead of just once a week. Obviously, I'm working full time, so it's a bit harder. But I will for sure try get you guys your Orcus content that I know you want. This deck is so fun. Hope you guys are enjoying it. And yeah, peace out.